Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to introduce this DF robot motor shield to control two DC motors. We are going to explain the uh, ports and connectivity of this uh, shield. After that, we are going to have a look at the data sheet for this L298P motor controller chip. Then we are going to have a look at the schematic diagram for this shield. And then I'm going to explain the code that I've written for this to control two motors independently. And we'll, you will see also, also the demonstration of that. You can get the code for this by clicking on the link in the description below the video, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is the DF robot Arduino Uno motor shield. This fits on top of this Arduino Uno. Once you insert it, you will have access to all the ports of your original Arduino Uno here at the top. Uh, with the exception of uh, pin 4, pin 5, which is used for motor uh, A, and then 6 and 7 for motor B. So pin 4, 5, 6, 7 have been used internally. It's connected directly to this chip or through this chip. So they're used here. You cannot use it for anything else. Other than that, all the other ports are available for you to use put power will be connected here external power or you can connect it from here if you wish and um, but if you are using that one you have to move the jumper here which I'm going to show you next and then uh, we have this chip is uh, from ST semiconductor this is L298P with maximum current of 2 ampere in each channel this can control two motors so motor A and motor B so this is motor A or motor 1 and this is motor B here is, it has been labeled as M1 and M2, so motor A and motor B are connected here. Besides the connecting directly through these holes with a screwdriver through this terminal, you can connect it through this pen header using DuPont wire. These connectors are uh, just uh, not used. Misleadingly, they have been labeled as PLL. There is no PLL hardware here or in software or the code that I've provided, which I'm going to explain the schematic diagram and the uh, website of uh, the manufacturer website. You will not see, you see there is nothing. The motors you need to have, because this motor go by directional, you need a bridge um, a rectifier uh, for freewheeling rectifier to protect this device. So we have here four shot key diodes for this motor B and then four for this motor. So you don't need to connect external diode across the motor that you're using. Then we have here two LED here uh, showing the direction of this motor B. So one, if it goes one direction, this light will be on if the other direction, the other one. So this is for motor B. And then for motor A, we have also two LEDs here. Uh, the amount of current that this can handle is um, with this uh, current situation it will be around 1.2 um, for continuous long operation and 1.5 for maybe for shorter period uh, without any heat sink or uh, cooling system. Make sure the motor that you're using you know the rating current of it or maybe whatever motor you have uh, otherwise if this heats up it will burn uh, for each channel independently at 1.5 ampere. If uh, you are trying to use a motor that draws a lot of current above 1.5 ampere, this module is not for that. I tested it. It will heat up very quickly and uh, it, you might need to have some kind of cooling fan or other cooling mechanism or larger heatsink attached to this to cool this out. To control your motor, the motor will have their own voltage, maybe 6 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts, whatever is the voltage for the motor. So you will connect your power in this port. So the plus is on this side, minus is on this side. So this is the input for the power. Make sure that you put these jumpers, make sure you put the jumpers like this. So this means a power will be connected from outside. So that both of them are connected like this on this side. If you don't want to use this one and want to use either Arduino, Arduino power or the power adapter that you connect from here, then put the uh, jumpers like this. So the motor will be connected in these two ports. So this two wires is for one motor 
and this is for the other motor and this is motor one or channel a here it says motor one and that is for motor two in terms of polarity because you are changing the direction of uh, rotation of motor so this plus and minus is just uh, relative so if you are not happy with the direction just move it in the other way it will be fine Uh, now let's have a look at the DF robot manual for this motor shield. They put some description, uh, but there are some problems with this. But here they have also put some information about the uh, pens connectivity, which I explained. But here I have problem with this, the PLL. There is absolutely no PLL functionality or chip or me mechanism. They just put these pens. They have not done a good job here explaining this and the uh, code. You see they put password modulation, they put one code, and here they put a value between 0 to 255. And look here from P password modulation to PLL. Again, same thing, they just put 0 to 255, which is password modulation. There is nothing about PLL here. And this is the uh, L298. The P version is used on this. So this is the one with the P version. Maximum current is 4, which means 2 ampere for each channel so that's why they use four and this is the actual chip because we are not concerned with this sample the voltage is 50 but you cannot input 50 volts and you will damage the arduino board i'm going to provide you the link for this in case if you need further information here is the schematic diagram this is the main chip beside this chip they just put a, a four nand gate in which in a chip S74HC00 so all the inputs and we have these are the shot key diodes and these are the two LED for one motor two LED for the other motor and these are the ports for the motor if you look here this is the jumper that we see on the board it says pulse modulation and uh, PLL absolutely nothing same thing they just you just change the pen and nothing will happen and we have only pulse modulation for A, pulse modulation for B and direction and there is no chip or nothing and in Arduino we don't have a code or something for PLL unless you write your own code with some hardware. Enable the current sensing feature here so actual uh, Arduino motor shield have, have all utilized this current sensing and you can do based on the current you can do something I have created separate video the link will be provided so check that out. Let me now explain the code that I have written for this uh, motor shield. I've defined pen 4 bec because this is default and you cannot change it. And I called it motor pen A. I put the, wo the word motor at the beginning so I can just change the last letter. Motor pen A and then motor speed pen A. So this is for motor pen. This one you can change the direction either high or low it will change the direction this is for the speed and this is pulse width modulation so you can set 0 to 255 in terms of uh, pulse width modulation or duty cycle so 255 is 100 percent duty cycle and 0 is 0 percent so pin 4 and 5 and then pin motor pin this is for the direction of motor pin b pin 7 and then the 6 is for the speed in order to make the, di the direction uh, of uh, rotation easy, I've defined these two CW and CCW variable instead of high and low. So you would just simply put CCW or CW, make it easy. So I made that. And inside the setup, we first uh, set the motor A for pin of motor A. We set it as an output and the speed, we set it as an output. This is that as if we typed 4 and 5 here. And this is for the motor B, the same thing. And then we uh, set up the serial monitor that prints this one. And then the 9600 that you see is referring to the value here. It must match, otherwise you will not be able to read this data. This is, this is the code that is running, so we can change it or you can change it accordingly. Let's say you want to set the direction for motor uh, B. So just type the digital right. So we are writing to pen 4 here pin 7 sorry pin b motor pin b so we are writing to pin 7 ccw and ccw i've defined it here cw is high ccw is low so cw we are writing high 
So this will rotate one direction and also this will print the text for us. So that is this text. And after that we set for the motor speed we set 87. This value can be between 0 to 255. So 255 is the maximum speed and 0 is stop. And then we print this text. So I put the text a little bit extra and then so you don't uh, mix it up with a command. So you can remove these and get rid of them if you don't want it. And then after that this line controls motor A in one direction CCW and then we print the text telling us that then we set the speed at two, at 110 also we print the text telling us that it's 110 this line these two will print one line all this will happen for five seconds so for five seconds motor A and B will run with those parameters and then we for we stop motor B when we send zero that means stop the motor and we print the text motor A is still running and then we change the motor direction the motor B CCW and then we, ch we stop the motor A here I'm demonstrating it this is motor A on this side this larger motor and then this smaller motor is connected from here that is the motor B and on the screen also you will see the result right now it gives all these command but because the power is not connected so you don't see that I'm now connecting the power so motor B is stopped as you can see so motor A stopped and this is now motor B at 189 and motor A 110 change the direction Again, motor B is stopped. Motor A is stopped. So I put these lights. So red mean in one direction and green mean in the other direction. Now I have connected this huge motor here. This draws around one point. 5 ampere so this can handle it no problem let me power this up so two motors are running this is motor B so B is top Now let me explain uh, the advanced code that I have written to make it easy. For example, to move the motor, you just say move motor B and then direction and then the amount. So with one line you can do direction and the speed and also if you want to just break, just put break and inside the single code B. So I have written this function and also this function. Let me explain the first one. So the first one is move motor. It needs three parameters. The first one is a character referring to the motor which will be A or B and then the second one will be an integer of direction CW or CCW and the third one will be the speed of a motor so we'll we will receive B CCW and 200 and, and within the function they will be called here motor DIR and speed and here we check the motor if it's if the character motor is A we do this one uh, and we set the variable and we control the motor here so this is very simple and then for the break the only thing that we pass is we say break and inside single code we put A or B and this will take care of that for us now uh, this is a simple loop here we say mo move motor B and CCW at 120 and, uh, and then it will run for three seconds and then break and break for two seconds and come back by the way one more thing is that I've said here the break uh, it needs one second or 1000 millisecond to stop the motor so if in case this is interfering with your application remove this when the motor stops it takes a while motor is now stopped and then goes 120 and then it stopped Let's move it to, to CW.
Now I've updated the code, I've added this. This time we're going for motor B from CZW to CW and 255, which is the maximum speed. This is just a text for us, and then we wait for four seconds and it comes back here for and then change the direction. So let me upload the code. So 120 stopped. Change the direction and maximum speed. This is actual Arduino official uh, Arduino.cc official uh, motor shield and this is a DF robot. I have separate video explaining this fully so you, the link will be provided in the description below you can watch that and I have separate code for that. So now let's have a look at this and see in terms of comparison as you can see this is more compact and uh, let's see what we have extra. In this module we have extra pins for other sensors other devices that you have and this that's missing in the original arduino.cc motor shield we have a reset button if you need it to reset it but in this one it will be underneath here no not big deal but um, this has it so this doesn't and this uh, in this module we have the current we have the current sensing so you can check the current of each motor individually and take some action which I have explained it in the video this one they've used current sensing they set it to zero so nothing has been used the F robot has four extra pin beside these terminals that you do with a screw you can connect the DuPont wire to connect it to your motor makes it easy that is missing in the Arduino uh, official Arduino shield these pens on the DF robots are totally misleading. The code that I've provided can be used only when these jumpers are on this side. So make sure they are on this side. And they are totally misleading. There is no such thing as PLL in this chip or on the shield or in Arduino without the hardware. This is sold about 16 US dollars plus the shipping cost. And this is sold about 22 US dollars plus the shipping cost. If you are not using the current sensing feature of this and all these other ports, if this is cheaper go with this but if you can afford it buy this one I would definitely suggest this one because it has current sensing and extra ports and uh, would be very useful thank you for watching this was how to use this DF robot motor shield if you like the video please thumb up and also if you have comment or question please post it at the comment section below I try to answer and reply